Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another scrapbooking video. I actually uploaded a scrapbooking video near the beginning of lockdown. Quite a few people wanted to see me carry on doing it so that is what I'm doing today and I find that it's a really good way to keep like entertained during lockdown. So if you're feeling like you're bored and you have nothing to do then this is literally like one of the perfect things to do and you get something like memorable at the end of it that in like 50 years time you'll look back and be like this is what I did during lockdown. If you really like these kind of videos then please give it a big thumbs up and I'll do like another one. Comment down below like your ideas, any questions, follow me on my social medias, I'll put them up here. Subscribe down below as well. Let's get straight into the video. And I get them from a company called Free Prints which is literally one of like the best prints if you want like printed pictures off of like your phone. I think it's like 40 or 45 prints they give you every month for free and then you just pay postage which is like $3.99 and they're really good quality as well. You can see how shiny they are, like super glossy pictures. I got quite a few questions, so someone messaged me on Instagram about it and also quite a few of the comments were saying about how you get these white borders. I'll put up a screen recording of how I do it here, but you actually have to activate it as like a feature and then when you check out you can add it as an option. It'll be like unlocked for every future purchase and then you just tap a little button and it's like add white borders to your order at the end and yeah it will just apply automatically. Start of 2020 is where I'm at at my scrapbook which is kind of crazy because the pictures from the start of 2020 I had no idea what was going to go on for the rest of the year. For my Polaroid pictures I actually have this Polaroid camera so it's just the Instax Mini 9. They are really nice like because obviously the picture that you take there's only one picture that that will ever be the exact same but sometimes the quality comes out really bad like especially if it's a really sunny day it literally comes out bright white. Some little extras that I've actually bought since that video just where I've seen them in the shops. I actually went into Aldi and they had a little like in their like middle bit where there's like all bits and bobs. I don't know what that aisle is. It's just random stuff. I found they had like scrapbooking things. So I got these, well, I think they were like 99p and they got all the letters. So letters and then on the back, they've got like numbers, um, hearts, stars and they had different colors as well different patterns but i got these gold ones which is from aldi i mean you would not expect to get this from aldi but they're kind of like hard cardboard which is actually really good quality it had these little like packets this one's like the celebration designs then this packet was 99p i think and you get all these different designs in it so these are like really thick cardboard all different ones you've got like amazing day you've got cupcakes mr and mrs just plain paper ones like these are a lot thinner this was from poundland and these are again just little letter stickers they're really glittery and they're also raised but they don't have numbers but these ones i thought would be really nice as well being silver again this is the label maker i use so it's called dymo i think you can get it from amazon i got it from ryman's but you can get it from amazon this is really simple to use i think i showed you how to use it in my last video i just love this label maker I feel like I'm gonna have this for the rest of my life. I actually got this from school in textiles. They sell sketchbooks obviously for it and I bought this age ago like a little A4 black one. I'm pretty sure you can get like a plain black sketchbook from anywhere and I added to some pages that I had incomplete from last time. So I will show you them now. Just showing from last time, these are the stickers from Aldi on it. So I've just put prom. So to this page I added two more pictures that I got through on my new free prints order. Then completed the Elan Cafe page. One of the cards things from Aldi that I put on there it was pink so it just tied in she got the receipt and then just some more pictures um the date which was pretty much like a year ago which is kind of crazy to my birthday page I actually added this was just like a little 18 thing that I found I also added another one of the cardboard stickers from Aldi and got another picture this looks so unlike me but yeah it's a picture of me pouring a glass so I thought I had to and then I've just got this badge that I'm gonna like stick here probably just to finish that page off me and my friend we went out um on new year's eve and these i think were from poundland again so i'm probably gonna stick another one and put 2020 that's my nan and granddad we went to theirs on new year's day so yeah this is basically going to be the beginning of 2020 if only i knew that that was how it started and now we're like six months in and if only i knew then when i was going to a club that's full of people that there was going to be such a thing as the coronavirus I just laid everything out but yeah gonna watch some vampire diaries oh there we go look i'm so close only like 12 episodes left i think a 
bird just hit my window. It's just a big bonk. Oh, there is a bird. I hope it didn't get hurt. I mean, I just tried to fly, so I don't think it was injured. I fed these. It's actually taken me such a long time. this so i'm actually going to just write new year you know because it's going to be such a great year <laughs> you put it at m and then you just clamp it once that's all written out like that you just snip it off pull that sticky label off and then stick it where you want it to go which i haven't actually decided yet the little dispense thing just ran out of the tape so i've just got a new one here i've never actually done this before so i could be this wrong but you just pop it in there and just shred this through this top bit okay no that did not work let me try and figure this out <laughs> figured it out so you kind of just got to keep like whilst this is open whilst this is holding in i just kind of kept pushing it and it kind of dragged it up why is that just jammed okay so that is the first page for 2020 going out at if you know what that means going out at <laughs> And yeah, that is that page done. So now I'm going to start the next page. Still going strong with the Vampire Diaries. Also, this is because I'm paranoid. <laughs> doing um my sister's birthday we arranged this like 20 times and i'm still not happy with it but i don't know any other possible way of putting it I have the polaroid pictures for this i showed these in my last video but i'm gonna use these wh smith photo corners to stick them down so that it doesn't ruin them from the sheets from Audi I'm gonna take this little heart pop it on the center of there oh oh no a little bit wonky wait <laughs> I hadn't shown um the pages so this was the date that me and my friends went out we went to a place called Hazine and the food was so good I thought this was a green pepper turns out it was a chili and it was the hottest thing ever this was when me and my friends went out again. Just put girls in the letters. These are the ones from Poundland. They're actually really pretty. This was a little bit of a random page where I had like a few random bits that I just put all on one page. Such a bad picture. Look how funny my dog looks in this though. We got trapped in the rain um, and we had to hide under shelter. But my dog, look at the fear in her face right now. Some other pictures of my dog because you know you can't have too many pictures of your dog. I wanted to go to this place called Put Shack instead, which is like a little golf place. And I one and we went to Las Iguanas before. I've just completed this page which is my sister's 24th birthday to actually get these and put it on the Polaroid. I think it looks really nice. I realised I did the date twice because I'd already put one on here and then I forgot and I did another one. This is also a little bit random but we're just going to forget about it. This is from the Audi packet again just saying happy birthday and then I just put cousins there. This page is actually quite sad because this is like the last time I think I went out before lockdown started and me and my friends actually went to a place called Dirty Martini and we did the brunch there. It's really good. I recommend it if you're looking for a brunch then the Dirty Martini brunch is really good. This is the kind of food you get when you're there. Polaroid pictures as well because obviously I'd only really just got my Polaroid camera at this point. This is what I mean about it coming up white. It's like the sun has reflected so bad on that picture. Yeah that was the last time I went out before lockdown sad times okay so what i do is i lay it all out and then i 
print off like what I want and then I'll just stick it like one by one so that I know I get it in like the right place. that page done i really like this also i realized i did the date again the same it's because i did i put these dates on it ages ago now i've got my last day at school page i'm not even going to show much of this because i feel like it's one of them things i'm so i don't like the pictures of my last day at school so schools were shut down oh that was just gone <laughs> That just sounded like I meant school bell. I meant doorbell. They were announced to be shut down on Friday, on a Friday, and we went into school on Thursday. Put this like outfit on, and I was like, "This is actually quite a nice outfit that I'm wearing." I'll save it for the Friday because that's the last day, so I'll wear something that I like on the Friday. And I was a little bit late, running late in the morning, you know, as you are on a school morning. I went upstairs, quickly changed into this jumper, and I literally just grabbed the first thing I saw that day at school on the Thursday. They were like year 13s we're leaving at lunch today not coming in on the friday so i was like hold up so i was wearing a nice outfit and i changed and now all my last day at school pictures and memories of me wearing this outfit that i did not like so i'm really gutted you know when you should have just wore what you were wearing in the first place so i just finished um the last day at school page but obviously i don't want to show it all because i don't know if everyone that's pictured in the pictures wants to be shown i will show you just like a section of it okay so i've got this bit here so i've got dominoes and this is such a bad picture again it's made me look so pale and then here just on the side of one of the pictures i put finished in the letters that i got from aldi i wish i got more now of these letters because they're actually really nice but yeah i've put like the date here this was our table at school where we used to sit um so that's the last picture we got at our school the last page that i'm actually going to do in this video is mother's day i think this was from the beginning of lockdown so basically this video is from the start of the year to the beginning of lockdown i think i'm gonna do another scrapbooking video of like the pictures for lockdown please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you want to see me do another scrapbooking video where basically it will be all the pictures from lockdown to now these are literally the cutest pictures of my dog look her ears like all fluffy and like lopsided and this one she's licking her nose it's literally the cutest thing finished the mother's day page so i put one of them um stickers on there this is what the polaroid little corners look like as well they're really really good um because obviously you don't want to ruin the polaroid mother's day in the raised glittery letters and put lockdown edition because this was the beginning of lockdown this is how 2020 started and now we're at the bit where lockdown is beginning my laptop has just died so i feel like that's a sign that i should stop that is the end of this video please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below if you've tried out scrapbooking or if this makes you want to try out scrapbooking Don't forget to subscribe you can message me on instagram or send me a picture of some of the scrapbooking that you've done i would be so interested to see what you have done that is the end of this video so i will see you in my next video bye